Okay, this is still tough with the dry fly here. Oh, fish! In the land of the midnight sun, summer arrives quickly. From a landscape of frozen lakes and naked birch trees, to a green haven of vibrant life, full of bugs, birds, flowers, and free-flowing water, all in a few nightless days. The sound of fish breaking through the surface film begins to pierce the ears of the fly fishermen. Finally, dry fly season is here. Hello and welcome back to another day in Lapland. It's getting towards the end of the week now. It's um, quite chilly today. The wind's still blowing a bit. We're going to take it quite easy. Um, tomorrow the weather should be a bit better, so we're going to do an expedition to a really nice place. And uh, today we're, we're going to try one more time on the local river and the area near the cottage to Today try and catch some food. We're going to go and look for some good eating grayling. Um, hopefully we can get something rising. There's lots of small caddis around and we'll see later when it warms up a bit and hopefully the wind drops a bit if anything's rising. That would be nice. The water level has actually risen again in the river by the cottage so I'm not sure about wading here. Maybe I'll have to take two steps or something and try. Um, some people have spin rods so you could try that here as well but I think mostly we'll head across the lake on the boat which has a hole in it I may have shown you earlier but hopefully it'll get us across and back without letting too much water in. Don't like a fish. Huh. <laughs> oh, that was a fish. Or was it? Are these rocks or fish? What? Well, are they small fish or are they rocks? I don't think they're big fish. small fish. Well, I wasn't recording, I just lost one. Um, 
quite no no big railing but it wasn't the tiniest and I had a bit of a jump I'm gonna try this one more time but this time I'm gonna start even further up see what I can find I think I might have seen a fish rising just in front of me actually which if this wind dies down it's definitely worth trying a dry fly starting to get more and more bugs on my face seeing bugs on the water and seeing anything more rising but uh oh it's, it's getting close no, I think we'll leave this here maybe move down maybe get picked up Timo's uh, standing in Sweden and I'm here in Finland um, yeah neither of us catching anything there this looks worth a shot on the way Yoni's probably already fished it and blinking hard to get a fly out Oh, there's a fish for a moment. This is quite a battle to get down here. This is a little rapids that we've fished quite a few times. Nice little rapids, nice fish. Uh, we've only ever come down here with a canoe before, so this is the first time on foot. Uh, oh, it's quite tough going, but nearly there. Well, it, seems a bit more sheltered here so I may well start off with a dry fly well Yanni already caught a fish here um, before I arrived with I think he's got a woolly bugger, at least something heavy subsurface with a bit of orange. Um, I really want to try dry fly, so I'm going to start with that. And then I might switch back, but I'm going to head out now and see if anything happens. Let's give it a shot. Back to the woody bugger. Well, the woolly bugger didn't attract any bites this time, and as I headed back to the bank, Yoni told me that he had been casting dry flies to rising fish. There had been no takers so far, and one repeat surface feeder was quite large. I was given the opportunity to see if I could catch anything. I started off with the Goddard Caddis and Red Tag that I already had on, and followed Yoni's instructions on where to go and cast. Oh, there's a nibble there. And there's a small fish tried to take my uh, red tag and again Oh, that time the caddis. They're all small.
Where do you see the bigger one rise? Is it where those small ones are? Okay, just in front of the uh, riffle. Okay. Deciding that I needed a change of fly, I turned to Yoni and asked which one to tie on. Drawing on his many years of fly fishing experience and knowledge, he offered up the following golden nugget of information. The right one. Well, I went for a different caddis pattern and decided to change the red tag to a black clink Ah. Uh. Went for the clink hammer. Yep. There we go. Here we go, a dry fly fish. Not big, but on the clink. We fished a bit more at that spot without any further action and then headed back up to the river mouth to meet Timo, who hadn't had any action all afternoon. I asked if I could quickly try the dry fly there before we went back to the cottage. There was no rush, so off I went. Okay, this is still tough with the dry fly here. Oh, fish! I fly fish on the caddis. Oh, that's a good one. a nice fish. What did it take a clink? We're taking the clink. Oh that's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's what we came here for. Big dry fly fish. That's what we came here for. I took the clink. That's what this place is all about. That's what this place is all about. What a beauty, what an absolute beauty.
There we go, not as big. It turns out that uh, that bigger grayling was 47 centimeters. I thought it was over 50, but 40 to 50 is a good food fish size, so it was a keeper, which was the target of the day. And I'm super happy that we got some dry fly action and to catch a near 50 centimeter fish on the dry fly. I'm going to sign out for today. Tomorrow is another day, the last day here, and we've got something special planned for tomorrow. It could be an all or it could be a nothing, but we'll have to see. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. A little drop of Scottish water. Perfect.